of mine to work with this most powerful piece um, by Femi Johnson. And um, the backstory on this piece is uh, the, the scars there um, in, in Africa, um, the families um, often or sometimes would actually cut their children um, so that they wouldn't um, have to, so that they would help make them more um, undesirable so they wouldn't hopefully become slaves. Um, and near the, near the end of this poem, there's a reference to the Super Bowl. Uh, and the Super Bowl, every year now, is uh, the largest incident um, in this country of um, sex trafficking. Um, and that, that's a national stain. And then I have two other pieces after that. Rite of Passage of reflection. Deeply saddened by the thought of your loved ones, desperate enough to cut your black beauty to save you from the horrors of slavery. These powerful badges of honor are the steep price you paid to earn your freedom. In quotes. I am entranced by the faraway haunted look of your eyes, providing a glimpse of the unspeakable pain still troubling your mind after all these years. Your mask of power renders impotent any false presumptions of assumed understanding of your experiences by anyone but you. A feeling of helplessness settles in with the recognition that there's nothing in my experience that prepares me for this exposed image of power, strength, and grace. Perhaps there is some responsibility that comes with, with being given this glimpse of you. Is there something more I can learn? Maybe build some sort of bridge of understanding? Or perhaps all I can do is sit with the disturbing fact that the entire experience of slavery will remain forever beyond my understanding. Even as it persists today, as it has forever, affecting different objectified classes, races, and sexes all over the world, and yes, in America still even on Super Bowl Sunday. Scars on the outside, <coughs> scars on the inside, so many scars. As a solemn, sacred reverence overwhelms, all I can do is bow. <laughs>